Hello and welcome back to another episode of Good Dreams. Today we're playing Keys, Wallet, Phone, as Zombies. This is a fantastic cute little uh, first person shooter, kind of hide and seek collecting game. The concept is you need three things to survive, right? You need your keys, your phone, and your wallet. Those are the three pinnacle things a human needs to survive in the 21st century. And during this zombie apocalypse, they're all missing. So you have to go collect them before the zombies can get to you. And I've tried this a few times. It's pr pretty challenging. Uh, <laughs> not going to lie. It's quite terrifying. Because a flashlight can see like three feet in front of you. And the keys and phone and wallet, they randomly uh, spawn somewhere in the map. Basically just got to search and find them before the zombies get to you. And it's basically like a cat mouse game. Fuck! <laughs> I don't like this. It's really hard, and the jump scares are legit. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see how far I can get. The only thing I've found so far has been my wallet. I have not succeeded in finding the other two yet. But we'll get this some attempts and see how far we can make it. I think this, uh, these type of mini games, uh, very low in scope, but core con gameplay concept, very enjoyable. I think that's where dreams should. Oh, look at that! That was simple. We got our keys. We are one third of the way there. I think this is what people, what game developers and dreams should focus on. <laughs> Not today. Uh, these things small. Oh, fine, come and hell. Well, uh, gibberish. I don't think I got enough warning on that one. But yeah, I think these mini experiences, like very small concept games, but done very well and enjoyable is what uh, developers should focus on. Because Dreams, unfortunately, the game engine is limited enough to where developers really can't make super AAA high quality experiences. Like they can kind of get there. We're seeing like games like Frontier do open world racing games, but they're maxing out the creative thermo and engine. And pretty much you can make an open world game, but <laughs> you can't really put anything else in it because you're out of space. You, gotta, you, gotta, you can choose one or the other. You can have a big game with nothing in it. Or you can have a small little game that's actually fun to play. Oh, security cameras. I didn't know this was a thing. There's that zombie. That's cool. Where'd my flashlight go? There it is. Walla. <laughs> it's a really adorable little game. I love, I love that the zombies are just like mindlessly looking for my keys and wallet too. Fudge. Like, I heard him. That's why I didn't want to go out. Alright. I really like this game. <laughs> Here's this made by Verbal Creative. Well done, my dude. Yeah. That's a, that's a good concept. I really am looking forward to the day uh, my dreams gets multiplayer. I've said this time and time again on this channel, but having these like mini games with the ability to play with your friends online would be fantastic. This game would be f just amazing playing with a group of four or whatever. Like I could just, it would just be so much fun. It'd be streamer potential. You get a lot of eyes to actually watch streams on Twitch because we would have these group of friends just having fun. Rather than, you know, these single player experiences that, I don't know, just aren't enjoyable to watch as a, a viewer on the interwebs. So if you really want to get people to know what Dreams is, you got to get the, the gaming community involved. One way to do that is to make fun multiplayer experiences. There are no keys in the washing machine. Oh, no 
noises are terrifying. That's the case though. Alright, that's important. I already looked in there, okay. This game will be great in VR. It's a little sad they don't have VR support. I kind of understand why. Probably be a little bit of a pain to have them like really well done on hand animations and stuff, but uh, not today, dude. Maybe we'll see that in the future. This, you know, it would be fun if uh, when they do get multiplayer support, you could have it be sort of a competitive game where uh, maybe we have uh, X amount of players, like multiple players in the lobby. Let's say, you know, kind of like uh, Among Us, where you have one person be the key, the human the key finder, wallet finder, and other people are zombies walking around, also trying to find a key to the wallet. And they could set up traps and try to find each other. Just like multiplayer hide and seek games would be fantastic. Uh, in the dreams world, I think. Alright, let's check upstairs. We gotta be careful because I know there's like zombies roaming around. Sounds are really important. Important piece of this game, too. So I'm wearing headphones right now. Close the door. <laughs> I don't think the roaming zombies can uh, enter doorways, so I think I'm safe once I enter a room, but I'm not sure. I wish this game had like maybe a compass or a hint every now and then. I think that would be nice. Because like sometimes you might just miss a drawer and then you're kind of screwed because you think you already checked the room. But maybe you didn't miss, miss a drawer. And uh, you probably will never find it again because you're not going to go back to rooms you've already been in. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> this game's too scary for me. This has been Keys, Wallet, Phone, Zombies, made by Verbal Creative. Well done, my dude. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, Dreams is back and better than ever. We're going to have more videos every week. Stay tuned, especially for VR stuff. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have sweet dreams.